You understand? As long as God says when your when your mama and your papa abandon you, Come on. I take you in. Come on. That's right. So if if you don't feel love by nobody else, know that God loves you. Yeah. And that should be enough to sustain you and bring you out of that that that, that slump of depression. Yeah. You get that enemy off your body. That's right. Amen? Amen. Amen. Praise Jesus. Paul said Paul gave instructions not to let the day end before uh, we begin to work on mending our relationships. We begin mending our relationships by forgiving those who have hurt us. That's how you begin to mend it. Even if, even if when you go to apologize, even if they say, well, I got to think about it, at least you begin. Yeah. You know? And in your heart, you have to forgive. Even if they have a made the decision to forgive, you have to forgive. And even, I'm going to tell you something that I've learned. Even if you say, I forgive you, but in your heart you really don't mean it, you just keep saying it. You keep saying it, and then you say, Lord, help me to, 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 to really put this into action. But you start by saying it. You start, you initiate it by saying it. Even because a lot of times I said I forgive a person, but inside I'm still, I'm still kind of upset with them. You know? And I know that I say, Lord, you know how I'm feeling on the inside. I'm born and I need your help. Here. Yeah. I need your help to truly forgive them in my heart. Yeah. And you know what he told me? Just keep saying it. Yeah. Every time I feel the, the, the anger coming, Lord, I forgive them and I love them. Can I pray? Mm -hmm. Let me show you something. Flip over to uh, tap, tap. Uh, First Peter chapter 3. Let me show you something. Okay, I said three, but go to two first. And then we'll then we'll stroll over to three. Go to first Peter chapter two. And let's look at verse twenty one and twenty two. When you get there, say amen. amen. It says, For to this you were called because Christ also suffered for us, leaving us an example that you should follow his steps. Now see this is who we're to follow. We're to follow Christ's example. A lot of times the 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 people in our lives are not good examples. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we have to make sure that our focus is on Christ when man messes up. Are y'all with me? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. First Peter chapter two, verse twenty one. Now we're on verse twenty two, it says, Who, talking about Christ, committed no sin, nor was deceit found on his mouth. Who, on verse, I guess in 23 too, who when he was reviled did not revile in return. You know what that word revile means? Insult. When he was insulted. He didn't insult back. Okay, mm -hmm. what did he do? He did not threaten. See, I've done that. I threatened yep. when I got angry. It says, but but committed himself to him who judges right. You know what that, mm -hmm. what that saying? Instead of him getting revenge when he walked this earth, he just put it in God's hand. He gave it to God. He gave it over to God. God, you deal with it. Because if I deal with it, I'm going to deal with it from the flesh. So you got to deal with it. And then God will direct you on how to deal with it. He'll direct you on how to be forgiven and loved. All right, go to chapter 3 right quick. Let me show you the same thing here. Starting at verse 8. When you get there, say amen. It says, Finally, all of you be of one mind having compassion for one another, love as brothers, be tenderhearted, be courteous, watch this, not returning evil for evil or reviling for reviling, or we can say insult for insult, but on the contrary, blessing. That's what I want to show you. Instead of when you feel yourself getting angry with them, bless them. He says, he says instead of uh, getting evil with them, bless them. Mm -hmm. Knowing that you were called to this, that you may inherit a blessing. So he said, instead of when you get angry and, 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 you, and you really haven't forgiven them in your heart, instead of fussing at them and, 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 and cursing them with your mouth, pray a blessing over them. Ask God to bless them. One of the best prayers you can pray, pray is that God would send somebody that they would listen to and change their heart. Because one of the best ways I found out to get rid of an enemy to make him a 
And the same energy that he's putting in to be your enemy, he'll put in to be your friend. Sometimes your enemy can turn out to be your best friend. Amen. 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 All right. Uh, back to Ephesians 32. I lost my page here. Uh, if Paul said that the way that we get rid of anger is to forgive. Now, if you have problems forgiving, all you have to do is remember how Christ has forgave you. Yeah. Amen. Ephesians uh, 4, verse 31 and 32. Paul said, uh, let all bitterness, wrath, anger, clamor, that's loud yelling, and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. Now notice he said, he's telling us to do this. A lot of times, say, God, get rid of that, 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 that foul mouth. Get, get rid of that anger from, from me. So he said, you got to do it. You got to make a choice to do it. In verse 32, he says, and be kind to one another, tenderhearted, forgiving one another, even as God in Christ forgave you. So the way that we forgive one another is to remember how much God has forgiven you. And think about this. Every time you mess up, every time you do something, God doesn't get angry with you. You are already forgiven. Glory to God. He's already provi provided forgiveness for past, present, and future mistakes. So you already, there's nothing you do once, see, once you become a Christian, there's nothing you can do that God won't forgive you for. The only thing that's unforgivable is when you reject Christ. Yeah. So, but once you become a Christian, you haven't rejected Christ, so there's nothing you won't forgive you. So you have to work on those same premises. We have to see the same love that God loves us with. We have to love others. In uh, 1 Corinthians chapter, chapter, 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 3, it says the same comfort that we are confident with, we are comfort others. The same love that God shows toward us, we have to show toward others. So if God forgives me for everything, I have to forgive others for everything they do. Amen. 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 So anger is an avenue that fear can come in, but we can deal with anger by walking in love and forgiving us. Right. Amen. You don't have to allow fear in through that avenue. You can close that door with your love. Are y'all all right with that? Yes, mm -hmm. Praise you. Father God, we thank you once again. We thank you for revealing to us the truth. Thank you, Father God, that you've empowered us to live this life victorious. Yes. The life that Jesus has already provided. The victory that Jesus has already provided. We thank you, Father, that we are, that, that each and every day we walk in love. And we are determined to stay in love. And we thank you that you've empowered us to do it. We thank you that nothing the devil has can affect us. For we are safe in you. And, Father, we just give you the praise and honor in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Amen.